Hello everyone. Welcome to the exciting world of Google Workspace. Google has changed the way we create and share files. It is a one-stop shop for browsing the internet, typing up documents, making presentations, and sending email. These things and so much more can be done with a free Google Chrome account. However, unlike the free account, Google Workspace is maintained and monitored by an organization, such as a business or school district. Workspace gives access to their learning management system, Classroom, and allows files and folders to be shared quickly with a colleague, your entire organization, and anyone in the world. And this will be the focus of what I'm going to show you today. Knowing how to share Google Files is important because it allows you to set the guidelines for what you want the receiver to be able to do with that file. Follow along as I show you the process. First, when working in an application like Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides, the Share button is located in the upper right-hand corner of the document you are currently working on. To determine how you want to share the information, simply click the button and a window will open allowing you to pick who gets access and what they can do with the document. In most cases, the default share setting will either be restricted or viewable within your organization. Simply click the Change hyperlink located below the current setting to change who has access. Next to the current setting, a drop-down arrow will give you three options to choose from. Restricted means only the people you add can have access to the document. The name of your organization means anyone in your organization that has the link will be able to have access. And anyone with the link means anyone in the world will be able to read your document as long as they have the link. Once you determine the level of access, next you'll need to decide what you want the receiver to be able to do with the document. If you pick viewer, that means the receiver will only be able to read the document. Commenter allows someone to not only read the document, but make comments in the margins. Finally, editor gives the receiver the ability to add, delete, and pretty much change any part of the document they want. Keep in mind, you can also give a specific person access to the document by entering their email in the Share with Group and Group section of the Share window. You also have the ability to give that, viewer, that person viewer, commenter, and editing rights. For example, you can let everyone in your organization view a presentation while still allowing one coworker or even someone from outside of your organization the ability to edit the presentation. Once everything is set up the way you want, you are ready to share your document. Simply click copy link next to the URL in the get link section of the share window. Remember, this link never changes, even if you make edits after sharing the document. As long as the receiver has the link, they will get the updated edits. There is no need to resend the link. When you are ready to leave the share window, click done. Finally, I want to stress the importance of creating hyperlinks whenever possible. Oftentimes, when URLs of shareable files are created, they are long and can be difficult for your receivers to manage. Hyperlinks allow you to anchor that URL to text, so simply clicking words within your message will open the file. Hyperlink buttons are located in the Insert tab and toolbar of most Google applications and messaging services. Hyperlinking to other programs will be discussed in later videos. Thank you for your time and enjoy using Google Workspace.